Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I will be discussing the comparison of three phase system with respect to single phase system. I have prepared a table which you can able to observe the differences between single phase system and three phase system. Moving on to the first difference. In case of single phase system, power supply through only one conductor. But in case of three phase system, power supply will be taken place through three conductors. In the earlier discussion I have mentioned, single phase system, it is phase and neutral. One line is representing phase, another one is neutral. But in case of three phase system, you can able to mention like R, Y, B and N. Okay, there are two type of three phase connection. One is star connection, another one is delta connection. In star connection, neutral point is present, where delta connection, neutral point is not there. But a single phase connection ultimately only one type of connection. One is starting from phase, terminating to neutral. Okay, written path. Moving on to the second point. Two wires are needed for completion, completion of the circuit in case of three phase system. But in case of three phase system, we require four wires, especially in case of star connection for completion of the circuit. Delta connection, three wires are enough. Moving on to the third difference. The voltage is reaching up to 230 volt. The maximum voltage is 230 volt plus or minus 10 percentage. That 10 percentage you can give it as tolerance. But in case of three phase system, uh, the thing is the voltage can reach up to 400 volt. Another difference, the minimum power transfer capability that is applicable for three phase, uh, single phase system. The power transfer capability is very limited. Uh, so you can't able to satisfy the load requirement by using single phase system. Only a light load application. If you want to go for heavy load like a three phase induction motor, definitely we require three phase system. In case of three phase system, maximum power transfer capability is ensured. And uh, moving on to the fifth difference. Phase and neutral, these are the two type of conductors used in single phase system. One is phase, another one is uh, neutral. Phase is also known as line. So in case of uh, phase, it is represented red color and neutral will be represented as black color. In case of three phase system, we have R, Y, B and neutral. There are four conductors. So R, Y, B and neutral is applicable for three phase four wire system that is delta connection. For star connection, only R, Y and B conductors will be there. Why R, Y, B? Because only for coloring purpose, identification purpose. Sixth difference, maximum losses takes place at single phase system, where losses are very minimum, very limited in case of three phase system. If the losses are less, what will happen? Efficiency of single phase system will be very less because more losses. More losses means less efficiency. In case of three phase system, efficiency will be higher because minimum losses takes place, of course, what we can say efficiency will be improved so these are the few differences moving on further discussion single phase system is less economical for high power transmission where three phase system is highly economical for high power transmission that is why for high power transmission system three phase system is uh, implemented if i talk about single phase system it is too simple but uh, three phase system is more complex it's a complex network and in case of single phase system, it is less capable and reliable. But the three phase system is more capable and reliable. Now we can have a better comparison regarding the requirement of conductors. For the same amount of power transfer, single phase require more copper. Where three phase system require only three fourth of the copper. That is the advantage. Therefore, saving of copper is also taken place in case of three phase system. It is economically favorable. Single phase system is usually uh, used in domestic application where three phase system is implemented for industrial and heavy load application. You can able to observe in your house you are using 230 volt. Then single phase system is also known as split phase system where three phase system is known as poly phase system. Okay, these are the few differences. Now I will be showing you the difference of single phase system and three phase system with the help of some diagrams. As you can able to see, this is a waveform of single phase system. Okay, it is having positive half cycle and negative half cycle. Only this sinusoidal waveform we can represent single phase system. But uh, the combination of these three sinusoidal waveform, you can able to represent three phase system. All are having the phase shift of 120 degree R, Y, B. And uh, as you can see, the red conductor, yellow conductor, blue conductor, it is representing only for the understanding purpose. But we can able to say that it is applicable for three phase system.